exactly why Dexter wanted to date me. I know why I started dating him. I just don't know why I did it for so long. Well, he is the most dope guy in school. Yeah, and school's over. But don't you see? He's got us now. Okay, this is exactly what he wants. You leave now. And, and all that does is say to us, Bailey's got a problem and he's too afraid to deal with it. And I'm in the Jennifer Love Hewitt fan club. My membership card, her motto is always follow your heart. And I realize that's one thing I haven't followed. I follow other people, I follow my, what my parents think the ideal is, but I realize that's not what I want to do. Don Juan DeMarco is one of our favorite movies. She really loves Johnny Depp. And I think one of her cats is named Don Juan after this movie. All right, my name is Mark Babiak, and the reason I have you guys down here today is to uh, get my little brother by surprise and see if we can't catch him off guard and get him down to California to uh, do an interview with Jennifer Love Hewitt. All right, here we are. We're at my dad's house right now. My little brother's got all his stuff. We're going to go inside and get some clothes and throw them in a the bag and whisk him off to L.A. Right over here, we've got uh, all the videotapes from MTV, Mad TV, Oprah Winfrey, all the different interviews she's been on on both sides right here. See how he's got all these separated from the other movies down here. Where he's at work right now. We're going to try to sneak up on him before 5 o'clock when he gets off and uh, catch him off guard. He's got probably about 120 magazines and he's got all the interviews inside him kind of in yellow and, and they're all, you know, underlined so he's got to flip to him in quick reference. Right there's a Party 5 Jennifer Love Hewitt autographed picture from the fan club. What I'm going to do right now, I've got this bag laid out. We're going to go ahead and get in the closet here and get a few of his shirts out. All right, like I said again, I hope I made the right choice as far as the clothes he's going to wear. The reason I think that Matt really deserves this uh, is because of the fact that he's been through a lot as a kid. He lost his mother at an early age. And uh, like I say, one day she was cutting hair in the beauty salon, and the next day she was in intensive care. And he really could have made the wrong choices, you know, but he made the right ones. What are you doing? What are you doing? You ain't going to believe it, man. They picked him. You got to leave right now. We got to go, man. You got to Los Angeles to be Jeff Love Hewitt. You believe it? <laughs> you all right? You ready to go? We got to go right now, man. All right. She's so excited, and she was just telling me in our test, she's like, I have this sinking feeling, I don't know when I'm going to find out. This is like totally a shock for her. This is my dream, me, Jennifer Love Hewitt, on MTV. I was going to leave early today, I guess I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you didn't leave early today. Yeah. You would have been going. That's you, man. I think he's still in shock, guys. The voice that works off a little bit. I think it'll be all right. I'm in a limo, and I'm flying to L.A. to meet Jennifer Love Hewitt. It's like, if you could plan out my dream, this is exactly how it would go down. I just wish I would have known a little bit. I would have dressed up a little nicer. I just go to work to 9 to 5 here. I unloaded a truck for three hours. I'm all sweaty and dirty <laughs> with my worst clothes. And well, I got some new clothes packed for you, too, so oh, I think you're going to be all right. I wanted to make a difference to other people like they had made to me. I figured, okay, I can get, like them, I can get involved. I taught CCD, which is, you know, church school, um, to the little five-year-olds, to the deaf ones. And then my junior year, I tried out for, your, for peer advocates, which is, you know, counseling your peers. Yeah. I use voice men because um, as an icebreaker, I have their pictures all over my walls, mm -hmm. and people walk in and go, oh, you like them too? She really made herself a role model to me because I've seen her do all this, I've seen her become so successful, and now I'm getting a chance to meet her. It's just amazing. It's like meeting your idol, and not many people get a chance to do that. She said to always follow your heart in a couple of interviews, and I was like, wow, that's that's what I need to do because I hadn't followed my heart enough before. Well, my dream is really to become an actor, so I'm enrolled in an acting school that I'm going to take as soon as I get the money. That's what I'm, you know, working at the toy store for. My brother Mark here. We've been through a lot, but I mean, I don't know if we ever done anything really meaningful for each other's part. I mean, we've been there for each other through everything. You know, I mean, after our mom passed away, it was, I mean, it, it was really hard on us and everything. It kind of. It tore our family apart a little bit. We try to remain close, you know. But here, my brother, my own brother's coming up here, surprised me with this. He's going with me. And, I mean, that just adds so much more because this just encompasses an entire, just great moment right here. I'm going to fly to L.A. with my brother. <laughs> and I'm going to meet and interview Jennifer Love Hewitt. And I'm so grateful for you, man. Thanks right. for doing no this. No problem, man. I'm going to do something for you, man. Yeah. I love you, man. I want to do love something that really meant a lot to you. Though. Yeah, well, you really, you really inspired me to, to try to live out my dream. You're going to be crying. I'm supposed to be crying. <laughs> Gates of Sony Pictures Studios, where um, Jennifer Love Hewitt is filming I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. I guess we're just a few feet away from actually meeting Jennifer Love Hewitt. I've spent a lot of time here working on movies, and I'm finally here. Even in a dream, I was stuttering when I was talking to her, so I know this is, you know, I'm, I'm going to try my best to try to keep my composure. Thank you, sir. What's your pulse? It's going a little fast right now. Yeah. It's like I just got off the jogging machine, but 
Well, then she's going to walk through the door pretty soon. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm Jennifer. Nice Hi. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. Okay. I'm here. Hi. Oh. So, tell Hi. us about your new movie, Can't Hardly Wait. Can't Hardly Wait. Um, it's, uh, it's funny. It's funny? <laughs> yeah. It's funny. It's, um, it's about a bunch of high school kids who are sort of celebrating their last night of, mm -hmm. um, you know, being together and they're getting ready to go off into the real world and, and they all go to the party to kind of get to do the one thing they never got to do in high school. Yeah, what's the one thing that your character never got to do in high school? Um, be anything more than head cheerleader, prom queen, and dream girl. She wants okay. them to know that there's much more to her than that, so she goes there to kind of do that. Okay, and right now you're filming I Still Know She Did Last Summer. How's that going? It's going good. Scary? <laughs> very, very scary. That's why I look the way that I do. I apologize for um, not being dressed up. <laughs> We're in the middle of a rainstorm. Right. So. Scarier than the first one? Um, much scarier, actually, I think. I think it's like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can you scream for us right now? You want me to scream right I want now? You to scream. Okay. <coughs> you ready? Wow. <laughs> that was really good. Not quite, you don't get the effect when you're in the theater. Right? Yeah. Actually, there. So I just had to kind of get that. Well, I'm here because I'm a big fan of yours. I know that you're a big fan of Johnny Depp. Yeah, I actually, I, I just think Johnny Depp's an amazing actor. And uh, I had the chance to meet him, and I kind of screwed it up a little bit because I was, I was really nervous. What if you, if you had a day all to yourself? No party of five, no projects, no interviews. What are you going to do? I would probably make it a day of um, driving to each one of my favorite restaurants and eating one thing off the menu. <laughs> Thing in the whole wide world to do is just eat, um, and I'd I'd probably I'd probably go to like Disneyland or somewhere like that. I haven't been to Disneyland before, so maybe you can give me a call. Really? You get yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you, um, so when does Party Five start filming again? Um, we start July twentieth. So what do you think about your character? The way you think you've developed her pretty good? I think she's I think she's a good a good character. She's my yeah. favorite that I've played so far. She's yeah, really like great. It's no big deal. <laughs> And it's what it was always, pretty much. I love you. You started out, or Sarah started out having a crush on Bailey. Right. So did you ever have a crush on your co-star? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, one co-star I did. I'm not going to say who. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say That's who. That's fair enough. Um, we'll talk later. When does, um, I still know, when does it actually come out? For a it comes out in November. It comes out Thanksgiving. It's kind of gross if you think about it, like blood and turkey. turkey. Ooh, <laughs> doesn't that yeah. sound delightful? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, but it comes out in November. Yeah, you know, well, you've really, you've really inspired me to, to try to live out my dreams a lot. I know there's always somebody in a person's life that really inspires them, and maybe that's their brother, or, you know, like in your case, your mom. But in my case, it's really been you. And your motto is always to always follow your heart. And that's the thing I never, I never really thought I wanted to do. I, you know, I never really followed my heart to try to become an actor. And I saw you, you were in the, on the YM cover shoot for the Fitness Beauty issue right. at Access Hollywood. Right. And you said that I know that no matter what happens to me for the rest of my life, I'll go out of the world knowing that I've lived my dream. <laughs> you made me cry. I'm supposed to be crying. <laughs> yeah. That's really I, after that, I tried to get into acting school. I mean, I, I'm. Uh, Got into an acting school. I'm just waiting to try to get the money together, and maybe I can live out my dream. That's I think it's amazing. Because of you. That's I'm amazing. I'm I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that it meant something to somebody. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you mean something to a lot of people. Thanks. Right? Now, who were some of your inspirations, kind of growing up, that made you really want to just decide that you wanted to do this? My inspirations, um, probably the three women that inspired me the most to, to be an actress was uh, Audrey Hepburn, Natalie Wood, and Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, Those three women are pretty amazing and um, have all kind of inspired me in different ways. So, but no, I actually got a chance to work with Jamie Lee in uh, House Arrest, mm -hmm. and and she was just amazing. And she's she's always going to be kind of a a mentor, a role model of mine. So. And you still talk to her? Yeah, I talk to her every once in a while. It's great when she leaves messages. I save them all. I'm like Jamie Lee Curtis is on my machine. Oh my god! You know, and I freak out. So, <laughs> so it's good. Did she give you any advice on the set of House Arrest? Yeah. Together? Yeah, we um we talked a lot actually on the set. She was really good about that but the, I, probably the one thing that she said that that kind of inspired me the most is um she said that the day that I would know that I had truly succeeded is the day that I could look in the mirror and see the exact same person um, as when I started in the business and she said you know if you can stay the exact same as you as you were the day you you went on your first audition then you really succeeded yeah that's really good yeah. really good advice yeah in your earlier credits you were just listed as love Hewitt right. I know you have to go by love 
When did you decide to add the Jennifer in there to put it? It was kind of a funny show. story, actually. I was on the show, Birds of Paradise. Mm -hmm. Did you see that show? Yeah. I was on that show. And they, you know, I had just always gone by Love Hewitt, because love is like what I wanted to go by, right? right. So my family and friends called me, and I didn't think it was any big deal. Well, the people of Birds of Paradise um, thought that love sounded like a bimbo. <laughs> So they nice. actually told me that. Wasn't that friendly of them? Yeah. Friendly. So they asked if they could add my first name in there. And, and who was I to say, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, sure. And then we just kind of left it at Jennifer. Instead of just changing it back and forth, it gets too confusing. Right. So we just left it at Jennifer, and now people call me Jennifer or Love or whatever. But I always like to go by Love. So can I call you Love then? You can call me Love. Yeah. You can call me Butthead. I don't care what you call oh, You can well. call me anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to let you know how much uh, meaning you really meant to me and how much of an inspiration you've been for me. Oh. And this is now I know I'm one step closer to my dream. No, don't make me cry again. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. It was, I, the honor was all mine. Oh, no. It was Great a pleasure. Nice None of this handshaking stuff. Give oh. me a hug. Okay. okay. My mic is... Oh. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for the flowers. Oh, you're yeah, welcome. Alright, Massey's coming out of the studio gift shop. What'd you get? Well, I got myself a Party 5 t-shirt because I think I have enough to remember this, Bob. But I wanted to get, you know, just one more thing and I right. bought you a hat. Try to, make, <laughs> try to make up for it a little bit. They are the nicest guys. They were sweet. They were cute. They were friendly. They were exactly like I thought. Thank you. 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 Thank